What's going on, guys? Manly Hack here in a review for the custom ROMs on the Motorola Zoom Wi Fi. Today, we're doing a review on the AOKP ROM Build 38. AOKP right now is on Build 40, but right now, Build 39 and Build 40, um, maybe you heard me mention it before, um, has glitches right now. Well, on my Zoom, when I try to install them, and I try to install them many other ways, and I still get the same thing. Uh, build 39, as soon as you uh, flash the the ROM and the gaps, you go into the whole startup menu thing and setting up your tab. And then as soon as you get into the main menu or your, your home screen here, uh, if, you leave it, if you leave it aside for like a few minutes, it'll start, it'll, it'll reboot and then go into a boot loop. And then you're pretty much stuck there. And as for build 40, uh, the camera doesn't work and the... Uh, like the the small like the tap and clicks for every time you, you click on something it doesn't you don't hear that click and you can't download anything or you can't uh install any, any apps from the play store so as of right now build 38 is the rom that's working so far and um it's not it's not very you know, it's from build 4 it's not really much any difference it's still pretty much the same thing just you know a little tweaks here and there that, that they fixed but um, of course, you know, you, you can't get a perfect ROM, so, but we'll just have to wait till Build 41 comes out, hopefully as a, it'll start working for the Zoom. Uh, well, let's just get into this very quick. As you can see here, um, I always start off with the screen here. Uh, pretty smooth, uh, very responsive. That's always a good plus, so, I mean, that's the first thing I check on any ROM, is that the, uh, make sure that the screen has no glitches or anything. Um, what I don't like about this ROM, and I am an AOKP fan, is that the it doesn't come with a lot of a lot of apps. Um, it doesn't even come with a a music app or anything like that. It doesn't come with anything really. Just your gallery, your pictures, and then your downloads, of course, and the Play Store. But no no music app or anything. But I mean, it's not a big deal. You can always you know get your own apps on the Play Store, but you know, so it's it's always good to just have you know the just the standard stuff but uh okay let's get into the settings um you may already know that uh aokp is known for the rom control here so if you get into the settings here you're going to see that we have the rom control here um other than that everything's pretty much still the same uh, about tablet see so running the android version 4.0.4 .4, and i believe aokp always runs a stock kernel um, I don't think they're like Team EOS that has a Tiamat kernel. Uh, I am trying to look into the some other kernels out there, but there isn't a lot of kernels for Zooms right now. Hopefully later on they'll come up with some other ones. So you can see here, build 38 right there. Um, okay, so let's get into ROM control. Uh, this is a little bit different than the Milestone 5. Actually, some of these things actually actually kind of work. If we go into the general uh, user interface here, uh, you can go disable the boot animation. That's the uh, that's the animation after the Motorola Zoom Dual Core logo. You can always do a custom uh, carrier here. I've I noticed that if you realize on the milestone, we tried typing that in and it didn't work. Reason why, I'll show you why. You just go ahead and type that in, whatever. And it, it works on certain lock strings. It doesn't work on all of them. So... Get to navigation bars, you can go here and uh, you can change your navigation colors, which will be the ones back here, so you can turn it to red, and then you have a glow color here, you can change that to blue or something. So when you press it, it glows blue. So that's kind of good that it works. Uh, navigation button quantity, again, always up to five. And there you go again with a whole solid outline, which I do not like at all. And here we can always, um, we can adjust the uh, what the buttons do here. Um, the long press, we have back, recent search menu, toggle widgets, kill that power, custom maps, and blank. No screenshot option, nothing. That's in a different menu. So, and as for this, if we go ahead, it tells you what you want to do here or a custom app. We're going to just go applications. We're going to say camera. Again, and again, it gives you the solid color. So that's. That's really not a, I don't like that at all, really, on this ROM. And then you got a transparency. Bar width, I don't think this works. The 42dp is the default, let's hit 36. 
and it looks like it worked actually let me see yeah it looks like it's working no, I don't know. The height, see height. No. So that doesn't hide. I mean, that doesn't work. So there's that. This is lock screen options. What I was saying about the uh, custom carrier logo. Um, you can go ahead and just choose your own custom wallpaper if you like and choose that one or something. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Crop. Save that. And then uh, lock screen text color. Let's change that to red. Always red. This one talking about the custom carrier. Uh, does not work on stock. It works only on the AOS, uh, AOSP and Honeycomb. Other than this, again, you, you can choose up to eight uh, apps for your lock string, for your uh, shortcuts. You do not see your custom carrier there. You do see it in the AOSP. So let's go ahead and lock the screen very quick. Unlock. You can see down there the little thing there. This is what I was talking about the uh, the AOSP lock screen so so you know, unlock that so so that's that pretty much it uh wait to lock screen pretty much know about that uh you can show the percentage in, in the lock screen show weather but you gotta activate it first here on the weathers and then volume wake volume music controls uh volume wake gets the activated as soon as you press the volume music controls that's so you can change your music while the screen is off and the volume wake is if you press the volume buttons to uh turn on the your screen on your zoom lock screen calendar again is google uh google calendar is the stock or default i think that's the only one i haven't um the only one i've tried was uh, uh was it carol's uh calendar and that it w that wasn't even an option for it so i don't know if any other calendars will work but so far what i know is the google calendar is the default for that and it will fast torch so when you lock your screen you hold the power button back here if you hold the power button and you hold on to it, you got the LED light turned on. And then you let go and it turns off. But uh so you can go ahead and unlock that very quick. That's that. Quick pin lock me if you if you if you set up a, a password or a pin, you don't have to press the enter button and then show lock screen before anything else. Meaning if you have your um apps on the lock screen, you can go ahead and slide into your app shortcut and then it'll give you the password so that, because if you Choose this, or maybe choose a password, or to lock lock your Zoom. Your um, your shortcut lock screen would disable. So this this right here makes it where you can have that and the password to get into your Zoom. And out here, of course, you can choose your um, your custom apps for the lock screen shortcuts. Um, power menu options. This is where you find the 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 screenshot uh, toggle. Uh, if you uh, check that on right there, you go ahead and hold your power button. You see you have an option right there for the screenshot. Hit that and it'll take a picture of your screen. So that's that. Yeah, of course, you also have a t the torch toggle on your power menu. And you can show the navigation bar toggle also. Weather, as so you activate it, I'm not sure. I think this is Google Weather. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. So, but it works. And as for general, um, of course, you can go uh, get the transparency on your status bar. The status font size does work for some reason. It's kind of crazy, but the thing it does is as soon as you click it, the bar, the status bar will go down. See so that has user super user permission. They'll pop back up again. You see that the that the font has uh, increased or lowered. I think I lowered it down something. Well, there you go. See it increased so font size again. Go ahead and put it to the smallest. I'll do the same thing. Um, show notification count. That's if you want to, whatever you have, emails or messages from Facebook or Google Plus. It will show you the number of um, of notifications down the bottom. You can see that the font size went down a little bit more. I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but it works. Uh, as for toggles, you can go ahead and choose your toggles. Um, you can see you have this version right here. And you have this one. So you can go ahead and click on that. You can change it to this. Change that out right there and it turns into that. So just use a preference, whichever you want. Enable toggles, you can go ahead and choose the more toggles up in here. And uh, toggle order, you can choose the toggle order. Toggle style where uh, you show the icons or text and then you can always reset your toggles back to stock. Clock, the clock style, whether you want on the right or not. Uh, day of the week, 
that does not work. Uh, clock color, the clock color does work. As you can see it works there. Enable alarm icon. I'm not sure what this does. I never really tried it. So if you know, please comment below and tell everybody what it does because I have no idea what it does. Uh, battery, uh, battery icon style. I think it's the best one right here. Uh, the circle mod is my favorite one where it just shows you that right there. So, and uh, color does not work. Charge animation does, doesn't do anything. Uh, battery bar cells doesn't do anything and battery bar thick doesn't do anything so you can see there's still some glitches in this some things don't work and then signal um, you can change the signal on this one which is Wi-Fi and I, I'm not going to my Wi-Fi right now but I don't think it works either because uh, I know my phone didn't work on it I think I tried it one time and it didn't work but if I'm wrong please comment below correct me performance wise not much um, Especially on the on the scaling governor, not much to choose from, which is pretty disappointing. Usually there's a lot more uh, options in this menu, but of course you have performance, of course on demand is what I usually have in mind on, or performance when playing emulators. Um, and then startup tweaks is before. Oh, this is when uh, as soon as you restart your, your Zoom, you can have it to just come up exactly how you want it. You can mess with that. I don't really mess with that at all. So, so that's pretty much it on this. Uh, on this ROM, but uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you like better or what other ROM I haven't reviewed yet and see what, uh, maybe we can do another review on that. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below, and uh, add me on Facebook and Google+. That's about it, you guys. Take it easy.